Congressional debate is a simulation of the U.S. legislative process. Students author bills and resolutions and alternate delivering speeches for and against a piece of legislation in a group setting. An elected student serves as a presiding officer to ensure that debate flows smoothly. Because the speech is persuasive in nature, it's helpful to review Aristotle's three modes of persuasion, ethos, pathos, and logos. Ethos, or ethical appeal, establishes credibility through convincing the audience on the character of the author. This is done through delivery and use of evidence in the speech. Pathos appeals to the emotions of the audience. Logos is persuasion through the use of reason or logic. In addition to the modes of persuasion, there are three key areas to consider when evaluating congressional debate. Argumentation, delivery, and parliamentary procedure. Argumentation. Students discuss a multitude of topics in a round. As the debate progresses, they should be prepared to present fresh, unique arguments. Consider the research and logic students use in their arguments. Declarations relying on charismatic delivery are not well-developed arguments. Instead, a debater should establish his or her claim, or response to the opponent's claims. The warrant is why the declaration is true and establishes impact, or why it matters. Argumentation lacking this structure should not be given the same weight as fully developed arguments. There are no time limits for debating a piece of legislation. As the debate progresses, new arguments should advance. Students who repeat arguments made by others are not advancing the debate. As the debate progresses, students should refute counter-arguments. Remember, debate is an exchange of ideas between debaters. Delivery. Judges should consider the major areas of delivery, such as use of voice, movement, and expression. The speaker should employ ethos, or credibility, in their speech through a confident demeanor. Note how the speaker can refine delivery, indicating how he or she may improve eye contact, presence, and emotion. Pitch, tone, pacing, and volume should be employed. It's important to note, while students prepare multiple speeches for the tournament, adjustments are made based on the debate. Therefore, acceptances should be made for minor fluency issues. Parliamentary procedure. Parliamentary procedure is used to keep the debate moving. Robert's rules of order determine who should speak, the number of votes needed for a motion to pass, and more. Take note of students who use these procedures. Finally, when evaluating a congressional debate round, consider the role of the presiding officer. The presiding officer runs the chamber to provide a smooth and efficient debate. Presiding officers typically do not give speeches and should be evaluated on their ability to recognize speakers in a fair and consistent manner, keep the debate moving, and handle parliamentary procedure issues. At the conclusion of a round, rank students. Presiding officers may be ranked at the end of the round. A student ranked first is the best legislator in the round. Thank you for judging, and enjoy the experience.